start recording, then I'll explain how that works. So for those of you who are with me on in the webinar platform, thank you so much for registering. Now, um, I have enabled the public chat, but I know that this one is very much about your life and your personal stuff, et cetera. And so it will be the case with all of the webinars where you have the option to open chat, but you can also come into this anonymously. And if you use the Q&A, which is to the way I'm looking at it, it's on the right of the screen. If you use the Q&A, that comes just to me. So only I can see the Q&A. I won't say your name when I read your question or comment out. So my suggestion is use the Q&A. Q&A um, such that um, everybody else doesn't see what you're asking and doesn't see what you're saying and doesn't see what you're sharing. And I'll be saying exactly the same as we go through the online program as well so that you can keep what you're working on um, confidential. That would be fantastic. So that's that. Um, got a few handouts for those of you who are in the webinar platform as well. So I will be um, kind of releasing those and, and putting those in. And the way the handouts normally work, the document will go to the bottom of your desktop. Either I think these ones I've put them all as PDFs, but sometimes if there were documents, so the documents will go to the bottom of your screen just so you're aware of how you can actually access the handouts as well. And for you guys on the main program, I'll talk to you about the kind of the information portal. So let us begin. For those of you who haven't met me before, my name is Marilyn Devonish from TransformationsTM.com and I will be your host and your guide tonight, this evening, this afternoon, this morning, depending on where in the world you are residing and also taking you through the online programme. So in terms of this webinar, this is this is an introduction to the program. So this is going to be for people who are joining the program or thinking about joining. And this is really our orientation piece. So we're going to look at what is a transformation program? Who is it for? We're going to look at the power of online programs, what you can expect from taking a program online, because I know for some people this is a little bit unusual to do it in this way. We're going to look at some of the client results and testimonials. I'll tell you a bit about myself and my background and how I come to be doing what I'm doing. Uh, we're going to answer the big question, the one that I get asked most often, particularly around online and remote um, coaching and sessions and webinars, etc. We're going to give you an overview of the transformation program, give you a little bit of a flavor and a taster of what we're going to be doing as well. So as we go through, um, particularly for those of you in the webinar, if you have a preference for something I talk about, um, then what I'm doing is I'll, I'll maybe pull a process from that. So we might do a bit of HUNA or a bit of access consciousness, for example. So put in the Q&A what your preference is as we go through, and then I'll, I'll cycle back and choose something. And also then um, talking about next steps in terms of how we move forwards. The thing I would say about this program, and this is a quote from one of the first people who did it when I launched it about five years ago, um, her overall feedback was, it does what it says on the tin. My life is transformed. And that was the experience that she had of going through the program. And uh, You may have noticed on some of the promo stuff I've been saying, um, it's between it's three to six months. And the reason I, I'm, I've been a, I artfully vague is when I ran it as a, a kind of there's a online program that we're talking about now. I also ran it as a private one to one program where I was working with people individually. I had one person who finished the program in a month because we did a session every week for a month. Um, I had somebody else who did it in three months, somebody who did it in six months and someone who did it in nine months because they were pacing it to suit how they wanted to go. So the, the pace at which we go is partly going to be determined by the people on the program, because at the end of each one, we'll be determining together how much incubation time do you want between that process and the next process, which is why I've been a bit sort of like it's a three to six month program. So that is kind of where that's to answer one of the questions that I've had. That's where the variation comes in. But it was it was really fantastic. So I'll share with you a bit more about how people have experienced it and what has happened for them going through the program. So in terms of the program itself, the transformation program, uh, we start with the soul plan and the archetypal profile diagnostic. The reason we're starting with the soul plan it is just fantastic for pinpointing where you're at, your potential attributes, your gifts, your goals, your talents. It's also wonderful for um, highlighting potential challenges, limiting beliefs, and also being very specific 
in terms of the self-help methods and the personal development interventions to use. So that's a really good piece to start with. So that's a one-to-one -one Skype coaching session or telephone coaching session. That's individual. So some of you have done that already at this point of watching this video. Uh, we're also going to do the archetypal profile where we're going to get a sense of where are you on your archetypal journey. So I've uploaded the quiz into the client portal already. We're going to look at the soul transformation process. And we're going to do a core issue therapy diagnostic. That's going to be a group process that we do. We do that one as a webinar and it's always fast. Oh, my God, I'm telling you, it's beyond. We did it for the um, Raising Your Money Vibration 10 part webinar series. And I did it at the free workshop that I ran for my membership group a couple of weeks ago always mind blowing. So we're going to use the soul card, soul plan cards for that. We're going to be doing the HUNA and access consciousness. I'm going to give you a sense of how we're going to structure that and set that session up in a few moments. We're going to do the tarot readings, oracle card readings. So whereas on, let's say, the Raising the Money Vibration program, we did those around money, wealth, abundance. Um, and, and we also did a past life reading session as well. Again, depending on where the group are at, will determine then the approach that we take, the deck that we use, etc. We're also going to do some kinesiology and dowsing, because if you've done any of that with me in the past, you wouldn't. Seriously, it is just. It's, I mean, to, to the point we're all falling about laughing because the, the dowsing one is, is answering before I've even answered the question or the person who's asked the question, they're like, oh, my God. You know, as soon as they even sometimes think of the question, the rod then starts going. Uh, and so we're going to do that, that as a webinar as well. We're also going to do the some future life progression work and putting some things out in your future timeline as we get towards the end of the program and also the kind of strategy and action planning piece. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. In terms of who is the program for, I'd say on a, a, a kind of global high chunk level where kind of people are often they, they kind of they know they are capable of so much more than they're currently doing. There's the other set side of the kind of the flip side of that, the, the other end of the scale where people are sometimes lost or they feel that things are fragmented in terms of a bit of this and a bit of that. They're not sure about this. They're not sure about that. Um, one of the ways that somebody described it last time was there was the sense that the inner doesn't match the outer self or persona. So there's what the world is seeing and the way that you present. And then there's what's really going on internally. So people will be using the program to bring those two things into alignment and then even go beyond that. Uh, sometimes people are feeling that they flatlined and they have plateaued and they're not sure what's next. So they're not sure how to kind of break through, I guess, what some people might call the glass ceiling. And sometimes that's, you know, people perceive that's being imposed by society. Other times people have put those limitations on themselves. Um, there's a sense where people are going like, OK, I've tried everything. I think I put one of the quotes in from someone who said, yeah, 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 I've done this NLP stuff before. Um, so they feel that they've tried everything and it's like, yeah, whatever. I can't think of where else to go, what else to do. How do I resolve this? How do I break through? How do I move forwards? How do I move onwards, upwards, forwards? So there's often that. And, and sometimes, you know, people were feeling unsure of next steps, unsure of, of the next direction they wanted to take. I had someone who uh, she described it like um, a late midlife crisis in terms of making a career transition at what some might have called a late age. And so it was using to, it to help her get clarity around that. And it's it's like um, the way I, I kind of described it a few years ago was it's like a ginormous breakthrough session. So the breakthrough session is, is traditionally a one day session. So you pick an area of your life that is stuck, that you want to resolve, or you might have limiting um, beliefs, negative emotions, things you want to resolve and let go of, and then you want to next level things. And so that is done in a day. Nowadays, I tend to break it down into segments if we're doing telephone and Skype sessions. And this is like the, the mother version of that, where because there are things that we just won't get time to cover in a day in terms of different modalities. And so this is the program where I'm bringing together the modalities that I've I've used and, and studied and learned and trained in over what is at this point the past 19 years. Um, I started this journey in October 2000. So ooh, happy anniversary to me because it's currently October. Um, so where you know, so that's kind of how people have used it and, and kind of where it fits into the, the toolkit. Now, in terms of who is it for? 
these were some of the 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 things also that people were saying they they would wanted to get a sense of well who are they and and what are they really here what are you really here to do on this earth what are you here to do on this planet what is the the thing that you were born to do um there were times where people's starting point was okay they knew a bit about the archetypal journey or what you might call the hero's journey and they wanted to know okay what's next for them in terms of their life and sometimes that's big life changes. Sometimes it really is what is the next step. People were also um, at the stage where they, they knew there was something at the core that was stopping or blocking them. They just didn't know what it was. And I also had people who enrolled on the program who knew exactly what the blockages were. They just didn't know what to do to solve and resolve them and release them and let go of them. So, you know, a multitude of things in terms of what brought people to the program last time. In terms of who it's for, and we're just getting to the practicalities in terms of, okay, what can you use this for? What are we going to be doing? It's going to be letting go of old negative emotions, old limiting beliefs, getting yourself back into alignment with yourself and with your soul purpose, with your life purpose. Hence, also starting with the soul plan and, and doing a bit of the core issue therapy work. It's going to be helping sometimes gaining clarity about, okay, what is that life purpose? What are the next steps? who are you what is your soul here to do and we start that right from that very first session um, there are times where it's about creating a more compelling future and you'll see that when i share with you uh, one of the testimonials that a previous attendee has shared because i love the thing about the seeing in 3d and there are also people who life was good you know content okay and they knew they wanted to take things to the next level. So that's a little bit of a summary in terms of the people who have been through the program, where they were at, what they were thinking, the things that they wanted to address, just to give you a bit of a flavor. In terms of the question of how is the program delivered, we start with the one-to-one -one diagnostic using the soul plan, and that's a telephone or Skype session. There are the forms that you can upload, download, fill in etc that's in the client portal i'm going to show you what the client portal looks like a bit later on we've got a series of online video webinar sessions so very much like we're doing the sessions now that is how the video webinars will take place with you guys in the chat using the q a etc uh, there's the online accountability system there's some there'll be some of the things that you get as written coaching exercises some of those will be uploaded into the portal and, and some of those may come in a kind of different format uh, there's the bonus 28 day e-coaching program Program. So you can choose from, let's see, some of them include the Magic and Gratitude program, the Money Breakthrough program, Limitless Neuro Success, um, Intuition Supercharger. So and there's a Synchronicity Supercharger as well. So whatever program you feel is going to be the one that's going to help you gain momentum, you'll get a copy of that. And that's delivered to you every day via your email inbox. You get a PDF exercise. Um, two pages and anywhere from between four to seven or eight steps um, in terms of things that you can do to take you through and I'll share some feedback about that as well and we also have the group clearing processes so that's that's kind of um, that's that's kind of where we're going with regards to how the program itself is delivered um, and for those of you who may be watching and have taken part in the raising your money vibration it's going to be exactly the same format as that although there's more in terms of documentation background stuff and all the rest of it um now this is following the very first iteration of my online program so this is the magic and gratitude program that's one of them that you can get as the free bonus and it was mind-blowing it was the first i mean i've been running webinars and tell well what were teleseminars back then that we called them since back in the day where I would send an email or ring up a guy in some part of the country, I think he was near Wales, I would tell him what time I'm doing my teleseminar, I pick up my phone and dial in as, was, as would the participants, this mysterious man that I'd never met would press a button to hit record and then two or three weeks later, a CD-ROM would arrive in the post and I would then burn that CD and make individual copies and put them in the post to the attendees. That's how long I've been doing um, teleseminars, webinars, etc. And I actually have got, actually, let me show you. Give me one second. I think that's then. Hold on. Uh, oh, yeah. Talk amongst yourselves. One sec. 
I even ordered, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> this is a stack of CDs, which I ordered and I had my, um, oh, oh, the sellotape down. I won't fight with it. But if you can kind of see beyond the plastic, hang on, let me do it that way. I had them designed with my logo. You can see the same logo that has been on my slides. And, and then what I used to do so people would know it came from me and it looked more professional than just whacking it on a, a CD-ROM, I would sit and I would burn the CDs. That's how long <laughs> I've been doing um, online programs. So I already know they work, but taking it to another level, the first time I did that was in January 2013, where I ran the Magic and Gratitude program. We ran it as a teleseminar where everyone dialed in by phone into my teleseminar service. And I had someone on that program who was waking up depressed every morning. Um, she was getting out of bed with a spring in her step within the first seven days. Within 14 days, we're going from, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I don't know where I'm going. Within 14 days, she'd had an idea for a business. Within 28 days, she had clarity on what that business. Within three months, she met someone who helped propel that business forward. Within six months, she'd launched her own programs. And within the year, I was a, an attendee at her very first workshop, which was a full house. And when I wanted to do a one-to-one -one session with her, I had to go on the waiting list because she was that busy. And that was from a, a program where people receive something by email every day. And then we talked on the phone for, I think it was six weeks. So, you know, we did an hour, an hour and a half. And so that was the very first iteration of what's now developing into being even more interactive with the video webinar program. So it's kind of tried and tested and proven. I already, you know, I know that it works, but I know it's a new way of, of, of communicating for some people. So this is it kind of broken down in terms of what the 10 part series will be. So part one, and actually, I should have put a little star by this one because the same as the raising the money vibration, as we get into it and I see where people are at, I might shift and change the order of this a bit to better facilitate the flow of what we're working on. But as it stands at the moment, uh, part one is a soul plan diagnostic, which is the one to one telephone or Skype session. We're going to do part two, the archetypal journey overview. So we take you through that and you would have done the quiz by then. So we then talk in more detail about what the quiz highlighted for you. We're going to do the core issue therapy uh, diagnostic using the soul. Are they here? Oh, here they are using the uh, soul plan cards. So we're going to be using those. We're going to do the HUNA and Access Consciousness Belief Change session. We're going to talk about that in a bit, and I'll explain a bit more if you're not familiar with that at this point. We're going to do the tarot reading. So, you know, I've got my kind of coaching cards here. The uh, what have we got here? This is the uh, the kind of money oracle deck. I've just been doing a Skype reading for someone. So we've been doing life purpose today, and also the um, Archangel tap power so again depending on where people at if you can see behind me there's a massive stack of cards behind me so again depending on where people at and what we're working on will determine kind of the direction that we take that in but we're doing we're doing those uh, via live video webinar as well the strategy and action planning we're going to do the kinesiology and dowsing future life progression we're also going to have a members choice session that's going to come towards the end so you get a sense of okay what have we done what have we covered? What's been cleared and resolved? What else are you wanting to work on? And I will then create a session around that. And then we do the future energy creation and implementation session just to have things fly. So that's the, that's the uh, series. Now let's just give you a run through of how people have experienced the program, the, some of the results and the feedback that, that, that we've had over the years. So this one here, I, I really like this one. Uh, well, I like them all. Uh, but this one says, for those of you who might be listening rather, actually, that's a good point, who might be listening rather than watching. Yes, do that. Um, so it says, even though I thought I was um, confident, I didn't really feel confident inside. Everyone thought I was because of the exterior. And after these sessions, I am. I know I am the dog's nuts. That's a very English expression for those of you who might be watching from abroad. Um, so that's lovely. So that's what I mean about people saying, well, there's the inner and the outer and what people might perceive of someone and how they're feeling inside where you rise up to meet that perception, that expectation. So that's, you know, that's where that one come from, comes from. 
Best of him, Claudia, it does what it said, does what it says on the tin. My life is completely transformed. And I'm going to share a bit more about that one because that's kind of one of those goosebump moments. Uh, we'll talk about that a bit later. Somebody else said it's been brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Marilyn has been like the rocket to launch me into the stratosphere. I thought I was flying, but there's nothing like seeing things from a rocket point of view. And now um, something now seems clear. So that's where somebody was like, yeah, things are good and they didn't realize how much better they could be from that kind of fresh new vantage point so that's kind of one of the things that people found quite a lot as well uh this is one where somebody um says it's like this oh, this is claudia actually it's like the scales has dr have dropped off my eyes because i thought i was seeing but it's like getting a new pair of glasses and now life is like hd vision and she had the most incredible thing like we would talk about something on a, a telephone or skype session I would normally then get an, an email within the hour going, Marilyn, you are not going to believe this. Just, you know, stuff that was just so out there that the chances of it happening or somebody speaking those words, there was one I was saying, well, actually, maybe you want to research. And it was a really unusual topic. She then goes back to her, because she, she was doing them at work, so she'd go into a meeting room for an hour as part of kind of, you know, CPD style. And uh, she got back to her desk and somebody said, oh, Claudia, I was thinking of you. Here's an article. And it was about the random thing that we'd just been talking about. I was saying to her, it'd be a really good idea to research this. So it was, she was like living in a completely different universe, which is just really exciting. Um, what you can do if you want to go to and watch some of these testimonial videos, I put a couple of them up on the Eventbrite page. So you can go to www.transformationprogram.eventbrite.com. So it's T R A N C. E F for Freddie, so F O R M A T I O N transformation program P R O G R A M dot eventbrite dot com, and then you can kind of go and read for yourself um, what people have been saying, and the videos are there as well, so you can kind of hear it in their own words. This one was really fantastic. Um, this is Claudette. We're going to talk about that in a bit. But years before she had been on my website, she'd seen the video that I'd done with Amana Shaka. And Amana was saying how different her life is, how she attended the um, my first ever Mind, Body, Spirit Energy Fest workshop, which is now coming up to its 10th year. We run it annually the first weekend of December. Amana was at the very first one that I had kind of conceived and devised in the space of three weeks. I went from blank piece of paper to, hello everyone and welcome to the Transformation Program, the Mind, Body, Spirit, Energy Fest workshop. And Amana had some incredible things happen there where she talked about moving abroad, going to Saudi and Dubai and um, changing her life and wanting to be with her children in America and, you know, and everything happened with, you know, within six months she'd left the UK and she was out teaching in Saudi Arabia. We'll talk about that. But what was really fantastic about this one, Claudia had watched that video years before and said, I would love to be in her position where I am on that well, what was then the, the leopard print transformation sofa and I want to be you know having those same results and so that you know we'll talk about that in a bit as well so for those of you who are watching if you maybe if you haven't joined the program but you want to kind of join us and go through the live version um, you sign up by the Eventbrite page I will then send you the link where you can log into the client portal the first thing I'd like you to do is fill out your soul plan name. So there's a form in the portal and we need your birth name as it is on your birth certificate. <laughs> I'll explain why that is. Um, you then book your, your soul plan Skype reading. Actually, I'm going to put, oh, oh no, it's in there already. I'm pretty sure. Um, but I'll double check. But there's going to be a link in there to my calendar where you can book your one to one session. Next thing I want you to do is complete the breakthrough session questionnaire because I'm going to use that as the basis of designing the modules and then join the live webinars. And if you can't make the dates that we're doing them live, you can, of course, watch the replay. So that's the process uh, for, for joining the program and, and being part of it. Now, big question I get. Do the HUNA and energy clearings work remotely? Because people often like, oh, but what if I can't make all the dates? And da, 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 da. Or what if I've missed the, the live version and you've already started or it's actually all over and you're watching this two in your two years time? Will it all still work? So what I want to share with you, some of the examples of the way that this thing kind of goes down. So we're going to be coming up to two weeks ago now, but let's just say last week for the sake of it, before we hit into a new week, um, I finished running a 10 part raising your money vibration series. So online video webinar series. 
This is from one of the attendees, a lovely Winifred Canero. Some of you know Winnie and those gorgeous, amazing, incredible vibrational bath salts and shower scrubs. So um, what, what five words would you use to describe this webinar series? So exciting, dynamic, interactive, energetic, insightful. Uh, then I said, would you recommend this webinar series to others? If not, state why? She says, absolutely, yes. This has been one of the first webinar series that I've attended virtually for all but the first session due to time conflicts. I usually prefer classroom in person, but this has really exceeded my expectations and I have no hesitation, oh, it's lovely. I have no hesitation in recommending this program. And if you can attend virtually live online, it is very powerful. And there is the bonus of the recordings if you cannot. So Winnie, for those who know Winnie, you'll know she's a regular at my in-person workshop. So she's very much like, oh, I don't know about this. You know, I prefer, oops, hang on, what did I just call for something? Um, she said, I prefer to, to do it live, but we did the whole test so that again ran for a couple of months. I wanted to finish that one before I start this one. And it was really lovely that everybody pretty much said the same thing that even though they used to in person, it exceeded. And we had such a good time in the chat room. It was it was it was like it's like a virtual classroom. So that was fantastic. Um, now, in terms of the HUNA, the energy clearings, access consciousness, et cetera, this is from the lovely Pippa Neve, who's out in Australia. You can tell from my voice, maybe, that I'm in the UK. Um, and so this is an MP3 that I put together. This one might have been one that I did for my e-newsletter list. So I was asking people to listen to it and feedback. I did it live. Pippa couldn't make it live for time zone reasons but she actually she did the raising the money vibration she was on every apart from one where the link didn't you know she for whatever reason the email went astray um she was on every single live call getting up at five four half four five o'clock in the morning um but on this occasion she couldn't make it live and um so she listened to the recording after the fact and like let me just share with you what she said in case you're on a, a device and you it's a bit the text is a bit small so she's describing a process that we that she'd listened to. So she says, initially, my third eye, throat, heart center and solar plexus all felt compressed and it was uncomfortable to say the least. After the first round of Huna, I sensed the image of a red triangle, which was completely bonkers because they had no idea what I was doing. And I did indeed use the symbol, which is a red triangle. She says, during and after the second round, I felt the pain being drawn out of my body by my heart center. What she didn't know and what nobody would have known because you can't tell when... <laughs> Yeah, I know what that symbol is, um, even if you, you do Huna. Um, I had done a thing to open the heart and then I was using what you call the sword fingers to pull the energy out. She says, I slowly began to feel lighter. My heart center opened more than previously and I felt like I was glowing from the inside out. Again, what she wouldn't have known is I there's, um, there's a symbol called the wave of light that makes you gasp. So after we clear the heart energy, I put that symbol in um, and it's the, the wave of light that makes you gasp. And when you see it, it's this glorious burst of light where you're radiating from the inside out. So it just, just got more crazy as it went on. Um, and she says, I'm glowing from the inside out. And as I'm typing the phrase, as if the light of my soul is now able to shine through my heart center comes to mind, which is really what that symbol is all about. She said, the third round gave me a sense of my heart center expanding into the universe. And I now have a sense of feeling more open. And I believe I've totally completed the blocks. I feel confident, happy, open, positive, and I'm glowing at the joy of it all. And it wasn't until a year or so later that I read this when it was part when I was launching the Raising Your Money Vibration series. And that's when it hit me that what Pippa was describing was the order and sequence that I did the symbols. And at this stage, we were on a tele seminar. So they, they didn't know what the symbols look like. They don't even know what they are. Um, and they certainly couldn't tell what symbol I was. All you hear is <laughs> And in there, I've just done five symbols, you know, um, so you wouldn't. She had no idea, but it followed the sequence of what I did energetically. And that was just listening to an MP3 download. So in a word, yes, for those who still need a bit more convincing, particularly when it comes to working with groups. This is an event that I was emceeing. So what who you can see on stage, you've got Greg Braden, Dr. Joe Dispenza and Bruce Lipton. And it's something called the TCCHE, the Conference for Consciousness and Human Evolution. And um, I just did probably about three minutes of HUNA that first year. Same again the second year, probably did about five or six minutes this year. Um, so I've kind of hosted for the last three years now. And people had no idea. They didn't. Number one, they didn't know who I was. 
no idea what I was doing because I didn't say I didn't explain what Huna was or anything I just said let's clear the energy and I'm just going to read you some of the feedback from that and this is a group of over 500 people um thank you so much for everything the Huna and how beautifully you held the energy of the room and managed everything I attended the four the four day TCCHE event a couple of weeks ago and although I found the speakers fascinating your Huna work had the most profound effect on me someone else says I did speak to you at the event brackets in the ladies because every step I took people were coming up to go oh my god I don't know what you were doing but this happened and this happened and blah, blah, blah. Um, including when I'm in the bathroom and people are shouting over the top of the cubicle and she said and I explained how I felt the energy around me and a sense of calm but since that time I'm quite amazed at what has happened and it was very different for everyone there were some people who were in pain the pain started to disappear other people who were tired and and just exhausted to the point of considering going home early and not coming back the next day saying god it was just amazing i just feel i have clarity i'm energized uh, there's one guy who put his back out because he'd moved house that day before coming to the event and the back pain just disappeared seriously it was just you it was just so diverse but they all were at the same session for a couple of minutes and those 500 plus people all had a profound experience of it and it was very different for all of them because that's one of the things I often say I don't drink um please I don't mind if you do I gave up drinking when I was about 12 um so I used to but not anymore and um there was a <laughs> there's an advert when I was growing up says Heineken refreshes the parts other beers cannot reach and that's pretty much the way I feel about the Huna energy it's one of those things that just gets to the heart of the matter and just works its magic on a group level which is what we're going to be doing on this and also in terms of remotely listening to recordings afterwards you know and and there's a thing this is one where this was as someone has signed up we hadn't even started yet but what they didn't know I'd who knew the program before we started with you know the intention all the rest of it and so she said your money program is working already by the way and you know talking about money coming in from a channel that she thought was you know one she's going to have to just give up on and let go of so you know really cool stuff some of you who are watching depending on the circles we move in you might know the lovely Lack Loy the white collar warrior as he's also known he teaches master arts and uh, has authored a book very much into the kind of teachings of, of Bruce Lee and, and Marshall Mind Power is the name of his organization check him out and um, he was blocked in terms of work and contracts and had been out of contract for nine months at the point uh, a friend had recommended he call me up and do some Huna so we did some stuff over the phone did a five minute burst of Huna we also happened to be at the yes group a couple of days later so i did a couple of minutes just standing in the back of the room with loads of people milling about um and um he calls me up a couple of days later and starts with the way my clients often start with either wow oh my god or that phrase you're not going to believe this and a contract that had been dead in the water just bang comes to life and they like can you start tomorrow so that was fantastic and you know he was saying you have an amazing ability and it is having miraculous effects and so we'll talk about the ripple effect later so again really wonderful ways that it shows up and and well, ironically there's another one of my clients in the membership group she had also been out of contract for nine months did a, a huna and access consciousness session with her skype session actually oh, might i think no we did a facetime i think and um she then sends me a message a couple of days later saying i've got a problem i was like oh what's going on she then says i've just been offered two jobs so been out of work for nine months like that offer two jobs and now the problem is I have to choose one so you know I do laugh because as I said it works in the most mysterious of ways and so this is just lack when I was saying is it okay to share what you've said and he said yes of course Marilyn anything to spread awareness of this amazing spiritual technology and he's just confirming there that he it was because I was saying was it well, how many months was it at seven nine and he said yeah I'm just I was out of contract for nine months so just so you can see it's real people because I've, I've had I know it sounds unbelievable but I've had people kind of think I make my testimonials up because they are so fantastic and so out there and so miraculous sounding I'm like dude I'm sure I would have won some sort of Pulitzer Prize by now <laughs> if I could sit and make all this stuff up I just don't have the time um 
but you know what's this one oh yeah so thank you for setting that up the huna energy intention by the way it's looking like the financial windfall is going to be multiple six figures across the next 12 months so that was somebody who after just after i think it was the day after they signed up for the raising the money your money vibration program cool stuff started to happen um so it just works in incredible ways now that said i will issue a disclaimer and say the program in no way offers financial advice. It's not telling you what to do. It's for entertainment purposes only and participants are responsible for their own actions and decisions taken. Um, and what I'm doing here is I am facilitating those processes and helping clear away the blocks and the barriers, but I can't guarantee, you know, I've had uh, a client that I did a breakthrough session with a few years ago, went from earning, I think it was about 10, 10K a month, which is great. Not so great if your outgoings are 14 or 15K. And within the space of four weeks had made a hundred thousand pounds. And he'd never come anywhere close to making that kind of money. So had a first ever hundred K month, and he's been kind of rocketing since that time. That's wonderful. I had another client who did a three-figure weekend after we did a future life progression session. Her future self saw a process relayed it to us during the session i do it as a guided meditation process didn't make any sense at the time i did it on my well she didn't know she did it on her teleseminar line so it was recording i was making notes and a couple of weeks later actually she was on the, the very first transformation program as well so we're doing this series of sessions so we do the future life progression piece had a session a couple of weeks later she's going oh my god i had the most amazing weekend i've launched this new program came up with this wonderful idea i made three figures i'm like oh my god that's amazing well done what was the process and she starts talking to me i'm like i've heard that before so i grabbed my trusty um there's always a black and black and red notebook somewhere so i grabbed my trusty notebook and while she's talking I'm thumbing through to find her nose. So I, I let her finish and I go, let me read you this. And I then started reading back uh, the process. She went, where'd you get that from? I said, your future self shared it with you. But at the time her future self said it, didn't really make that much sense. It then incubated, as I'm always saying, you know, let the ripple effect begin and notice what you notice. She completely forgot because people are tranced out during those sessions. Uh, but it was pretty much word for word. But is that going to happen for everyone? I don't know, probably not. And what I always say about, you know, with her and with the client who made 100K in a month, they had the infrastructure for it. So he had his infusion soft set up. He'd already been putting in the work, putting in the work, just wasn't getting the ROI on it. So their infrastructure was there to support them. Now, that's not to say that you couldn't go from I have nothing to that. And it's going to be different for everyone. So just hold that in mind. We're not making wild claims. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. It will be an unfolding. So our approach is there's some practical stuff we're going to be doing. A lot of experiential things are going to be coaching exercises where I'm taking you through the elements that I take my breakthrough session clients through. There's going to be journaling exercises where I'm asking, OK, think about this and write about that and journal this and be introspective with that. There's going to be the transformation work that we're doing during the live sessions or the recorded sessions if you're not what doing it live. There's going to be the tailored belief change and energy clearing sessions. We're going to talk about that because I want you guys to start thinking about it and start sending me the info. And as I said previously, it's a sort of three to six month program. And we're going to figure that out as we're going along. Of course, if you're watching this in a year's time, five years time, 10 years time, whatever in the future, the program will be as quick as you could take yourself through it. Just to put this into context to give you some sort of idea the Raising Your Money Vibration program was about 22 hours in total. So we did 10 live video webinar sessions, each of those anything from an hour and a half to two hours, approximately, sometimes a little bit longer, very rarely shorter, because <laughs> um, we all had a lot to say and a lot to do. But, you know, that's to give you a bit of rough idea. So this is probably going to be something similar and around the 20 hour mark thereabouts. But if you're doing it on the recorders, of course, you can go through it. You can sit and do like a people do a Netflix binge weekend. You can do a transformation weekend and just, you know, whiz your way through it. So there are also what I call the usual magical components where we kind of bring this stuff together. So we've got the stuff that I've learned definitely over the past 19 years that I've been a coach and therapist. But also there are things that I started doing in 1975 
I didn't know back then, I didn't have the names for them, but I still use those processes to this day and I often am prescribing those for my clients. Um, so we're gonna be drawing on that sort of wealth of knowledge. We're gonna also be doing the esoteric stuff with the coaching questions and the journaling, getting you to have what I call those wonderful aha moments and light bulb moments and just kind of seeing things from a new and different perspective really because sometimes that's all it's about you kind of go man why didn't I think of that and you didn't think about it because you're in the the eye of the storm and somebody comes in with a slightly different perspective and then it's like woohoo and and you know we're also going to be you know stimulating your brain and getting that gray matter you know working and churning and moving and just giving you things to think about and, and putting all those pieces and slotting all of those wonderful pieces together as we go through. So a number of different approaches and ways that we kind of bring it all to life. And of course, there's the magical elixir in the middle of all of that. What I'm going to be saying to you also, and I use this pretty much on all of my personal development trainings, is and this is one of the sayings that I was taught when I went out to study Huna in Hawaii. And it was think not that all wisdom is in your school. So yes, I think the stuff I'm sharing with you is the best thing since sliced bread. And it's not the only way to do it. So when things resonate, fantastic, wonderful, implement. If it's not quite that, then it might be the next thing that we do. So just keeping that in mind, this isn't the only way to do it. This isn't the only way to change and transform. But these are things that I've used myself to change and transform my own life. We'll talk about that in a bit. And also the things that my clients have used over the last 19 years. So just to say, as we get started, as we start moving through this program, in terms of maximizing your results, to give yourself permission to explore to do that thing where you do allow yourself to have those alternative perspectives to turn up something upside down back to front inside out set your purpose set your intention we're going to be doing that globally overall for the whole transformation program and that's i'm going to say now for those of you who have already signed up why did you sign up what do you want? What, what's your purpose? What's your driver? What's your motivation? What do you want to achieve? What do you want to be saying at the end of the program? And I'll share with you the piece about Claudette and Amana. We'll go into a bit more detail about that. And if we've got a bit of time, I'll put the video on. Uh, you can watch her explaining as well. So really start thinking about what's your purpose? What's your intention? And what would you love to be saying at the end of this three to six month period? And really start thinking about that definitely keep an open mind. I mean, I, the people who have signed up so far, they've worked with me before, so they know the extent of the craziness. And the fact that even when it does sound completely crazy, it's like, man, that was cool. And that was mind blowing. So but if you're new, and we've never worked together before, or used these modalities together, keep an open mind, that's really going to help you notice and focus on the positive changes. That's what I call the green shoots. So when we if you think about something, you go, I'd love to do this or that would be great. Or I'd really like to find out. And then it happens or you get an opportunity or somebody sends you a message or you're going up the escalators because uh, that often happens to people. And they just have to glance to the side and there's a poster about the exact thing we've just been working on. Notice and really enjoy those positive changes because those are the green shoots. And then things start, you know, branching out from there use the online accountability portal now for those who have logged in and we're going to look at the portal you would have already seen there are some things that are marked as a mandatory so it's like you know you've got to tick those things off others that are suggested but each like let's say you know with the um pdfs the ebooks the mp3s the mp4 video files once you've viewed them once you've downloaded them the portal will be saying to you click that you've done it and not only does it help me to be able to go, right, I can see that somebody hasn't yet done the archetypal profile quiz, for example, it also helps you. You can keep track. There's no, no loads of emails flying back and forth. So it's a really great way. And it means everything is in one place. So if you ever go, what was the handout again? What was that thing? Just go to the online portal, but I'm going to be using it as a form of accountability so I can just see where people are at and maybe give you a gentle nudge because there's a secure messaging facility as well where I can send you little messages and just kind of, you know, keep things on track in that way. And of course, go with the flow because that's the that's the easiest way. When you just kind of let go and have fun and enjoy the process, that's really where the magic happens. 
So what I will do is I'm going to have a very quick look at Facebook in a few moments and just see if we've got any questions there. And for those of you who haven't met me before, before we start really breaking down and going into the program in a bit more detail. Oh, great photo, Barry Thomas. Um, sorry, I just looked on Facebook slightly distracted let's see so I think we're cool let me pull that up as well um, so for those of you who haven't met me before my name is Marilyn Devonish M-A-R-I-L-Y-N surname D-E-V for Victor O-N-I-S-H had a very traditional background so did a business degree postgraduate marketing diploma with the Chartered Institute of Marketing I was studying to be a chartered accountant very quiet and very shy so I decided to sign myself up for a communication skills training. I knew nothing about personal development. I did do a counseling course mainly to help because I, I kind of sort of thought if I learn how to be a counselor, maybe I can sort out my own terrible life, you know. And, and for those who don't know about it, actually today is we're watching some real time. It's World Mental Health Day. So in a nutshell, because I, often, you know, depending on what I'm doing, that will be as, as much as I say, because it will just take up too much time. Um, but for those just to put it into context so you don't get get it twisted, as uh, Tyra Banks would say, uh, that life included being sexually abused from the age of seven to 17. I contemplated suicide at age 32, so September 2000, and really thought about all the ways I could genuinely do it. And so at the point I did that training, I had hit rock bottom, still hanging on by a thread, um, and was not in a good place at all because I, I contemplated suicide in the September. I signed myself up for what I thought was a communication skills training in the October. So very, very close together and everything was still raw. And that came off the back of a relationship breakup where my partner had had an affair. Also, was I was right in the midst of an illness. So I went from my whole life being a natural size eight, I went up to a size 16. I went from um, having really beautiful clear skin. And I don't say that because I say that people would stop me in the street and what do you use on your skin? And I went from that to pizza face girl, blackheads, whiteheads, big welts, you name it, I had it going on. I also went comb over bald, so I had shiny patches. I mean, my hair is plaited now because I want it curly, but this is actually all my own hair. You know, it's all homegrown, you know, from the roots, but I went comb over bald and so had to have a number one buzz cut because there was no point in having strands everywhere and then big shiny patches um you know you name it it was all going on and that's where I also had the chronic fatigue where I was sleeping 12 to 15 hours a day and it was just crazy and so that was the state I was in and suicidal when I accidentally signed up for a personal development training I thought I was signing up for communication skills I tried to get my money back they wouldn't give me my money back but kind of came out of what I thought was a load of BS. If you don't get come to the training, if you don't get massive value, then we'll give you a refund at the end of the seven days. So now I think you're just trying to con me and waste my time. And, and that's the mindset I went into it with. And I came out the other end completely transformed, hence transformation. So there was no other way to sum this all up. But I went from that and terrified of public speaking as well, very quiet and very shy. And I am still off the chart introvert in terms of MBTI, the Myers-Briggs type indicator. Um, but I went from that, I became a uh, practitioner, a master practitioner and trainer of NLP and hypnosis and timeline therapy. You know, loved it so much, bought the company as Victor Kai, I'm used to say on that old ad, you have to be a certain age to get that. Um, I then also became a, a certified life and executive coach. Um, over the years, I've added probably about 20 different modalities to that, including EFT, as you can see on the screen, DNA Theta Healing, Hawaiian Huna, right up there with one of my favorites, future life progression, soul plan reading, archetypal profiling, photo reading, of course, because I was also, just to put it into the mix, in my 20s, I was diagnosed with what was thought to be early onset Alzheimer's, and my doctor says there's nothing else they could do for me. And in 2003, also started working as a management consultant and corporate trainer and Prince2 project manager. So mainly in central and local government, designing and delivering executive coaching programs, change management programs, specialized in smart and flexible working. So moving people from 
being at their desk fixed times to actually working remotely working from home which back into the 2003 five seven was actually really innovative now everybody's a remote worker um, but back then it was some and particularly when you think about think places like you know local authorities local councils uh, working with organizations like hm treasury ofsted dft department for transport fco the foreman and commonwealth office um office of deputy prime minister so those kinds of organizations and you know designing and developing organization-wide leadership development programs and of course the public speaking etc and so the picture you can see on screen if you're watching this as a video uh, the pink dot on stage is me that one was I was working as a media expert at the time writing articles for Psychologies magazine and so that that's I'm wearing the Psychologies magazine pink sweatshirt and that is speaking that one was at Kensington Olympia and when I see that picture and I think back to being terrified of public speaking right up until the age of 32, these are the reasons why I am so passionate about personal development. I, I know it is possible to change your mindset and transform your life when you have the right help, when you have the right support, when you have the right tools. Because to go from that background to who I am today is bonkers and one of the things people always say when i go yeah yeah we, you know because i always say look don't try and don't take don't try and take me on in the oh but this happened to me states so i'm like i've probably got your beat hands down but then people go oh my god i never imagined that happened to you and i'm like that's my point the fact that you wouldn't even imagine that was my life for the first 32 years of my life i think that speaks for itself and not about just me as a human being. It speaks for itself about the power of personal development. And the reason I do so many modalities, I love the core modalities. I use them to this day. And I just recognize that one size didn't fit all. So I wanted to be more agile and more flexible in working with my clients. But that's how I came to be doing what I was doing. And the catalyst for me was the relationship breakup. But of course, you know, when I started to explore that, the child abuse from age seven to 17 played a massive factor. I just didn't, you know, put two and two together. I just blamed it on the relationship at the time because it didn't even occur to me that past trauma could impact you in that way. Uh, when I'm not speaking and coaching and training and all the rest of it, I also write for newspapers and magazines. Been doing that since 2004, actually probably 2003 as well. I can check the dates. I've probably got some of those old magazines upstairs. Uh, but, you know, media expert for Psychologies magazine. I wrote a monthly column for Spirit and Destiny magazine for seven years. And any, it started off with stuff for emotional health and well-being. But it's really to this day very diverse. The article that I did this week was on. Yeah, that was weird, actually. When they sent me the link, I'll drop it into the, I'll put it into the um, the chat in the webinar. When they sent me the link, they were talking about Donald Trump. Boris Johnson, Vladimir Putin and uh, Merkel. And I was like, and then the next line was about was me. And I'm like, that's so weird to see my name next to all of those. So that was about leadership and, and kind of mental health. Uh, did one recently about diversity in the media. Uh, did a BBC interview recently about Love Island and mental health. So, you know, it's still a very diverse mix in terms of who I write for and what I write about. And I, I love, you know, doing that stuff as well and, and disseminating and sharing ideas in a different way. And the very first book that I co-authored, I'm looking to the side because it's still down there because I was talking about the other day. It's a real book rather than an e-book. It's the stories of transformation. So co-authored with myself, people like Tony Robbins, Dr. Paul Sheely, the creator of photo reading, the now late Dr. Wayne Dyer, Chuny Lin and Brian Tracy. So, you know, that was and I didn't come up. They, they came up with the title Stories of Transformation. I'm like, oh, I'm in. Paul Sheely messaged me and said, there's a book project. Are you interested? I think you'd be great for it. And so, you know, anything to do with changing and transforming your, your mindset, your energy, your emotions, your beliefs and your life in general is is one of the things that I'm very, very, very passionate about. So before we get to program components, going to have a look in the Q&A 
and also probably going to have to go onto my Facebook page because this isn't showing me the comments. It's telling me there are comments, but let me see. All right, give me one second. I like to close all my windows down just to give us maximum power with the webinar. But give me a sec. I'm going to go to my Facebook page and just see. Or we can have a watch party. Watch the link to join the program. Cool. Uh, Dan so um, Daniela says, hello, Marilyn. Love your timing. Just thought, what can I watch? thank you for joining me um and oh, hey amy sunshine that is such a cool name amy sunshine says hi so hey amy right um oh i like that pelagi ducat i love I probably haven't pronounced that correctly but i just love the read of your name let me get you the link to the program and for those of you who are in the webinar actually i've got a special link for you which is 20 percent off actually what i'll do i'm going to grab the link for facebook and then for those of you in the webinar, I'll drop that onto the screen as well. Um, so don't use a general link. Use the 20% off one, uh, which I'll put, oh, hang on. Am I in the right file? No, clearly that's why it's not working. One sec. Links, links, links. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, let's rock and roll. So transformation program .com. So let me drop that, drop it into Facebook. Right, so that's in Facebook now. Actually, while we're about it, let's drop it into the webinar as well for those who may be watching this and are not members. And, 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 and let me, let me find offer. There we go. All right, so what should happen now? Let me do a slide out. So, so you, that will make sense. Actually, let me do a screenshot so I'll show you what I mean later. So, this is slide out. So, what should happen? The offer should slide out to um, on your screen. So, so, let's do cool, cool, cool. Perfect, Amondo. Right, just uh, we're good. Yes. Yeah, so what it should look like, you should see something that slides out. So it says a three month online transformation program. This is for you and the guys in the webinar room. Um, regular price today. And there's a buy now button. So when you click that button, it takes you to a unique link that is different to the main link. And that's a, a, a kind of a different price. So that is that. So we're cool. Actually, do you know what? I could delete it later, couldn't I? So for those of you who are watching live, let me get, let me find, I should have got all these together. La, la, la. Uh, yeah. So let me find the link as well. And uh, do that. So I'll drop that and do that a bit later. Alrighty. So cap. So I'll put the link in, in the webinar room as well, uh, just in case you want to move the offer off the screen so that it's not obscuring your vision because like it's on the right so there we go cool so program components let's break it down and let's see what we're going to be doing actually let me just do that first q and a uh fab oh we've uh, <laughs> i was gonna uh, i was just about to say we've answered that one but then they just type i oh you've answered that one we're cool so and if you've got it for those of you in the webinar room if you've got any further questions type them into the q a and also in facebook just put them in the thread i will cycle back and i will check those out what time is it? Okay. So we said we're going to start with your intention. So for those of you who have already signed up, signed up, question on the screen, number one, what is your overall intention as you embark on this journey of transformation? Number two, how will you know you've achieved it? So this is the quote from Claudette. Um, pretty much she'd said to me when when we when she first contacted me, she said, I watched Amana's video, and that's the video on my website. I watched Amana's video on your on website and I was inspired. I want to experience and be able to share the same massive transformations. And I want to be the person on the sofa in that video. That's what she said to me at the, the start of the transformation program, um, in terms of one of her intentions and her reason for signing up. This is Claudette after the program. 
her video and seriously i've had people message me about claudette's video saying the same to me that claudette said about amana's video if you're keeping up with all of this um so claudette has done her own testimonial video um and seriously exactly what she said exactly what she felt when she was watching amana's video about all of the amazing life-changing transformations you know the speaking into existence the things that she talked about just coming true and it was kind of easy and effortless and everything was just falling into place she's at the right place in the right time the video is on my website um actually let me pull that one i think i've got it here as well if i done some good filing amana speak it into existence there we go so what i'm going to do i'll drop that video into the webinar as well into the chat room cool and what i will do i'll also sorry close facebook just so i can make sure we got no lag but what i'm going to do is i'll drop that video link watch it after this video stay with me for the webinar now <laughs> watch it later um but i'll put amana's video in there as well so that's claudia had watched that video on my website and um, was like oh my god i want that to be me one day and then you know six months after she signed up for the transformation program it was her doing her, her the same inspirational video about how much her life has changed and transformed so you can see those on the transformation program eventbrite page if you want to go and watch those videos and the amana one is in the comments so one of the things that we're going to start off with the soul plan reading is first and that's individual then we now transition into what we're going to be moving into next couple of weeks is getting with the live videos for the for the raising your money vibration program i looked at the money belief so what i did is i interviewed and surveyed everyone who was taking part also got some input from my e-newsletter list as well to make sure no stone was left unturned because sometimes when you're in your stuff you can't think straight and other people will, will say, oh, my God, that's totally it. So we did that for the money beliefs. I'm going to do exactly the same for the life beliefs. And then you guys will know who are there. What I did with this one, we, we did the Huna and Access Consciousness around it. And I also designed some of the processes around it as well. So we're going to do exactly the same with this one. But rather than focusing on money, we're going to focus on, on general limiting beliefs and beliefs that limit and stop and block your life in some way. So that's going to be the, the segment that we do to get the ball rolling. Now, in terms of the client portal, let me just give you a very quick overview of that. So when you log into the client portal, you're going to see uh, the welcome message and the list of things for you to do. And this is where you can upload documents. You, uh, you can download the documents that I've uploaded, uh, sharing documents. So there's a form there where you can put your soul plan birth name in the breakthrough questionnaire is there so for those of you who have signed up already please go into the portal you should all have now your individual secure link download the breakthrough questionnaire fill it in it's a word document and then upload it to the portal click that you've done that and then I can sign it off in terms of the accountability uh, there are some pdf handouts and and some bonus things for you to um actually good point good point for those of you who are here with me in the webinar room let me share that one with you so what should happen now i have shared a document with you so what should happen is i think that's where it's going to put itself on the the bottom of your your pc your your desktop and what that one is it's the um access consciousness statements but start a belief change statement so it shows you how you can formulate and create your own access consciousness statement so for those of you in the webinar room that should have been downloaded for you now so if somebody wants to just put a little note in the q a or the chat remember the chat is open q a is private just let me know that that's uh, that's landed for you uh, that's cool so you're going to have to download pdf handouts there are some mp3 downloads that i've already put on there a um, couple of videos as well. I put a bonus ebook on there as well about understanding the, the shadow um, shadow side of the archetypes. So that's already in the client portal. And as we go through, I'll be uploading more things. Um, and that's where we're going to do the tracking accountability. That's where you can do the secure messaging as well. If there is anything you want to talk about or ask about the program as we're going through 
over the couple of months, but it's really going to help us stay on track and stay organized. So when you log in, what you're going to see, so for example, what it says there's how to use this portal. I've done a video walkthrough of the whole thing for you. Uh, breakthrough session questionnaire. So what and, and what you it will, there's a on the left it's what it is. And if you hover over those little blue buttons, one of them is the information, which is explaining what it is and why I need it and how you get it and where to find it. One of them tells you, is it mandatory in terms of you really need to fill this in to progress or if it's just a nice to have. But it also gives you a clue as well. If you look on the right hand side, once you log in. So this one says start now. So, you know, it's something for you to read. It's something for you to watch or it's something for you to listen to. This one says add your file. So you're going to download the breakthrough session questionnaire and then upload it. And when you click on that, add your file, what it will bring up is your own you know, desktop filing system and you just kind of add the file. Uh, fill out the form to so where it says your sole plan birth name. I've created a form. So you just type your birth name into that form, hit enter, and then it notifies me that you filled it in. Um, so just read what it's and then that will in itself will give you a clue. So that's what you're going to see when you log in. The one that is grayed out, if you can see my cursor moving, that's the one you're in. So you've got this one, which is the overview of everything, um, the tasks that need to be done. The middle one is the secure messaging, so a picture of a little envelope. And then the I is the information. So that's where you're going to find the ebooks. That's where you're going to find the bonus MP3s. That's where you're going to find the bonus videos. And that's where you're going to find articles, etc., in the little I dot. And that's where you can download the breakthrough session questionnaire. But hopefully, once you've logged in, it should be self explanatory. Um, and this is what it looks like. So these are the things that I've added so far. So that's the access consciousness starter clearing statement. That's what I've just put into the webinar room. Breakthrough session questionnaire, Metro newspaper article. If anyone signed up and gone, oh, my God, what's going to happen? The, I, the journalist that wrote that piece, because I did a breakthrough session for her years ago. I think it was back in 2004. And it came out in January 2005, something like the 4th or the 5th of January. So nobody was really back at work yet. And I came down that morning. My voicemail was full. At first, I thought it was a fault with my phone. And my emails were just pinging like mad. And I was like, what the hell's going on? And uh, people have read the Metro article and calls and emails are just coming. How do I book a breakthrough session? Oh, my God. So if you haven't actually, I'm seeing oh. What I, I if I've got a t if I've got a minute, I'll upload it into the webinar room. But if not, for those of you who registered, I'll send you the link where you can read it. Um, so that's in there if you want to have a read. There's the Huna and Access Consciousness Belief Change course. There's a call that you can listen to where I'm taking you through some Huna and Access statements. That's one that I one that I created earlier. What else we got in there? The mindset, ah, oh, the mindset reminder sheet. I'm telling you, it's only a page. It is power. The mindset reminder sheet is the thing that helped to keep me on track in the first two years that I got into personal development, that one sheet of paper. It is freaking amazing. So please go in. And what I say to people is read them all and then maybe pick one for that week. Or you might even say, I'm going to just focus on this one for the coming month. Master it. Pick the next one. I'm going to focus on this one for the next month master it and that's going to take you through a six month period if you're feeling kind of hot and right and ready you can do them on a daily basis you can do them on a weekly basis but my suggestion is master the first one and they're in no particular order I just wrote them as they came to me um, but master the first one get it under your belt live it breathe it embody it and then move to the next one. So that's already in there as well. And we've got the archetypal journey over you. And I think since then, I've got to double check. The quiz should be in there as well, where you can take the quiz. So that's that. And just and again, just so you can see it, if you haven't yet logged in, um, the I information button, just click on that and then it will change your screen view. And the magnifying glass will give you, a, if, it's, um, if it's a PDF, it will give you a preview. If it's a Word document, you can't preview it, but it then brings up a button that says download. So that's how you can download the breakthrough session form, for example, and, and fill that in and send it back to me. So, you know, that hopefully should all be self-explanatory. We just wanted to give you a look, see of what that's all about. And let us now get into the program modules. <sighs> Straw breath. 
and I was going to do this as two separate webinars and my brain was like dude it's a recording well it will be so you can just press pause when you need a break that's the beauty of the webinars number one you can do it at your own pace and number two if you're at a workshop I love workshops don't get me wrong but once the workshop is over it's over you're like what did she say again if you wrote it down that's great if you didn't oh well you snooze you lose um, but with a webinar you can go back oh that's one of the questions actually let me just answer that one while we're on the subject with a webinar you have lifetime access to the material even when I'm no longer here this portal will be here so it's conceivable as long as big marker are here in a hundred years time this material will be here also. So you've got lifetime access. It means you can go back, you can rewatch things, you can revisit the processes, you can take yourself through the processes again. So it might be you have a different issue that you wanna work on, go back and redo the whole thing because the information is just sitting there waiting for you. And that's one of the things I really love about it. And you can also, when you need a breather, press pause once the live is over. So modules, we start with the soul plan. We've kind of talked about that, but for those of you who've never seen the soul plan before, Oh, my folders are, I'll show you, I can show you mine in a bit, maybe you've got time at the end. Um, so a soul plan is looking at your potential, looking at your possibilities. It looks at your worldly goals, your worldly challenges, your spiritual goals, your spiritual challenges. Also looks at your soul destiny and um, your, your, your kind of worldly talents and your spiritual talents. And it's just mind blowing. My clients have often described it as seeing their whole life mapped out on five sheets of paper and I I'm kind of have to giggle sometimes I send people the report having built it up and they're like oh it's interesting and then when we do the one-to-one -one reading like oh man oh my god how did you know that oh my god this is amazing that's just exactly what I've been going through so it's always really really cool um so we do that by Skype or telephone as a one-to-one -one reading during this program of course you can book a, a soul plan reading independently as well you can do that via my main website www.transformationstm.com forward slash soul plan if, if you just wanted to to book one but it's included as part of the program so we do that first as a one-to-one -one. that's and I'm just I think I've got one more to do and then I'm, I'm, we're done with all of those for the people who have registered so far just to give you an idea i just picked one at random the 10-1 energy this is one that is in my chart this one i think was my worldly challenges so what it does it shows you the positive attributes of that aspect of your soul plan so 10-1 for example and there's 22 different combinations so high frequency power inventive yin yang balance of male and female channel vocal expression service incarnation now people will listen to that and go yeah that's pretty much you marilyn that's what you do uh, the possible challenges denial of spirituality highly critical, self-loathing, perfectionist, isolated, insecure, must work to establish self in the spiritual. Now, people will listen to that today and go, oh, that's not you. And I'm like, you're missing the point. That was me up until the age of 32. And weirdly, the worldly stuff, generally speaking, is from age zero to 30, stroke 35, give or take, you know, I'd say five or 10 years, but that was me up until the age 32. I, as I said, I'd done a business studies degree, postgraduate marketing diploma with a Chartered Institute of Marketing. I was studying to be a chartered accountant. You couldn't get any further away from the stuff that I do now. As I've already said, I was suicidal, hated myself because you're not going to commit suicide if you love yourself. Um, so that was me. And, and talk about having to work hard to establish self in the spiritual. The first 32 years of my life were pretty much torture compared to, you know, what I live now. And so when I read the soul plan, I was like, oh, my God that was my life until for the first 32 years and that you know fitted perfectly with the zero to 30 and so it's like and that's why i say it's like a retrospective you see where you've been and then the exciting part you can also see where you're going and what is potentially coming because i said it's all about potential and possibility and whether you want to pick up the mantle um for example let me do i'll just show you the limiting beliefs for the 10-1 energy so limiting beliefs included i am separate i am alien i am abandoned by the divine i have to be perfect i hate myself i am flawed others are flawed well i definitely hate myself and i hated other people as well man could i man could i hold a grudge um, and i always felt like um the way i used to describe my life is i was on the i was on the outside looking in everyone else had a, a seat at the table 
I was on the outside. So that whole thing about I am alien, it doesn't mean you think you come from another planet, although sometimes people do. But there were times I actually thought, was I really born into this family? Because it doesn't, it just doesn't fit. So that, and, and the reason we're using it as, as the first part of the program, it's going to help us hone into what are the limiting beliefs that you need to clear such that you can have that dramatic change and transformation. And then it, it gives suggestions about overcoming the challenges, both in terms of self-help things that you can do, which are free, they cost no money. That's always fabulous. And also things that you can do in terms of modalities and you know trainings, interventions. And again, depending on what comes up, that is then gonna tell me which interventions I need to design for this program. So for the 10-1 energy, things like volunteering to help others. Now, weirdly, contemplated suicide in September 2000, the following year, I became a Samaritan volunteer. I didn't see my soul plan until 2013. So many years after, that's why I'm like, oh my God, that's one of the first things I did to, to, to overcome. I wanted to give back and help people who are in the same position. And I wanted to volunteer with the organization that picked up the phone and held the space for me. So when I saw that, I was like, whoa, you know, get goosebumps. So things like volunteering, meditation for compassion, spiritual literature, as you can see, I started reading a lot of books on spirituality, spiritual counseling, energy healing, NLP, hypnotherapy. I did NLP hypnosis timeline therapy for the big breakthrough, vow breaking, chakra male, female balancing, spiritual awareness techniques. Huna pretty much covers all of that. You know, and I had a client that I was working with today who was at the uh, photo reading workshop two weeks ago. And he was like, Marilyn, I don't know what you've done, but that Huna energy, my head's calm, I'm clear, amazing. So pretty much everything they described in the 10-1 energy was exactly what my journey had been. So what we're going to use this one is to kind of almost short circuit a bit of that. So you don't have to go through 32 years of meandering and oh, what am I going to do? We'll just go straight there and then I'll use the and then I'll design the interventions based on what it says for you. And, you know, the soul plan also looks at your soul destiny. So I've just picked a couple at random. For example, if you had the 11 2 as your soul destiny, it's about gaining resilience, understanding how things work and being here on this planet to express a high level of truth. If you've, let's say, got the 12-3, that's about love, knowledge and expansion. So it's about blending conscious awareness with truth and sharing that knowledge, that love, that information, that wisdom out into the world. And if you've got the 10-1 as your soul destiny, which sits in the middle of that star of David, um, it's about being of service. And so to completely master the self in this lifetime and about expanding your your soul consciousness and being here to serve the world in some way shape or form and again if you're doing the program for a sense of life purpose we'll, we'll go deeper into that so that just gives you a bit of an overview about the soul plan we're also going to take you through an overview of the archetypal journey so if you're watching this and you're already enrolled in the program fill in the quiz and i put in a, a four created a form where you can tell me what the archetype what your where you are on your archetypal journey because depending on what that is i'm going to design an energy process to activate the next archetype because that's the energy you're going to need to help you move forward if you're in the bambi innocent stage Next, we need a little bit of like, you know, we need some we need to kind of get into the warrior energy, start being more independent. So, you know, we're going to depends where we are. We're going to go through that whole archetypal journey, figure out where you are. And then we're going to identify what's the next step and also give you a sense of what's coming. Um, because, you know, I, you know, archetypes, I love archetypes as well. And we'll talk about my accidental journey and how that all came into being. Um, oof, a bit of fluff. Um, as I've already said, we're going to be doing some HUNA. And for those people who are like, what is HUNA? H-U-N-A, if you're listening rather than watching the video. And it's an ancient Hawaiian physical and emotional healing methodology. It's about empowerment. It's about empowering yourself, moving the energetic blocks, having the energy flow more powerfully through your whole being, works with energy, works with symbols, works with the elementals, works with the Huna guys, what you call the Avaiku. And in its essence, it means secret or concealed knowledge. 
And so one of the things about Huna, they say that those who are meant to live Huna in this lifetime will find it. For those who aren't, it might just be interesting, but you then move on to other things. So that's that. And the, one of the reasons why Huna is so central to everything that I do, it blew my mind when I first used it because they asked for a volunteer on the course. I volunteered because I was partly collecting evidence so I could get my refund at the end of the seven days. Um, and, and they asked me just to think about someone that I've had a challenging relationship with. And I did that. The trainer then taught the whole class and didn't appear to do anything, but kept intermittently every 15 or 20 minutes. 20 minutes going how are you doing I'm like well same dude you haven't done anything and this went on for like an hour and a half and then suddenly I just felt different about that person and they phoned me and they never used to phone me that evening and just we had the most incredible chat and the relationship has been great ever since and that was 19 years ago that is and I was like they've been abducted by aliens because that is the only logical explanation I could have to explain because he didn't even know the person I was thinking about he didn't know who they were yet they changed and I changed and I was like that's that's just bonkers and so that's the thing that really um no um <laughs> sorry Mandy I'm just sorry just reading message um didn't know he was in Watford um so, so yeah whatever but I'll message in a minute Mandy um but you know it was like how could that happen and and, and so that was my first inkling of Huna even though he didn't do the what I call the bells and whistles version and it was a silent transmission so if I'm doing a coaching session with someone for example that's the version of Huna that I'm using but on the webinar for the fun of it we'll do the bells and whistles with the and all that so you can hear what's going on and the first time I the the power of it dawned on me in terms of using it remotely when the person wasn't there and on this occasion didn't even know what I was doing because I had a friend who she'd been for a really bad relationship breakup she called me one night in tears just she just wants to say thank you for being my friend I just wanted to let you know I'm going to commit suicide so it's been nice knowing you um thank you and good night and I distinctly remember that day I'd been coach. I'd been working at DFT, Department for Transport. We're on uh, the flexible working program. So that was a, a kind of organization wide in thousands of people. And we're moving them from static working to flexible working, recording their hours, etc. So it's quite an intense project. Came home that night, had to write a proposal for FCO, the Foreman and Commonwealth Office. And I had to write it that night because the next day I needed to hand it off to someone else who was going to write their segment based on what I had said in terms of what we were proposing for that client. So it'd been a really long day. I get this phone call and I'm like, okay, that's cool. So can I said, can you do me a favor? If I send you some Huda tonight, can you put off killing yourself? And, and don't do it tonight. OK, fine. So they, they're drunk. They say whatever. Yeah, I carry on writing the proposal. Probably finish about half one, two o'clock in the morning. Really good intention is to now do the Huna for my friend. Go to bed, fell asleep. Woke up bolt upright around like three, half three in the morning. Oh, my God, I'm doing the Huna. So I'm sat in bed like. And I'm thinking of them, I'm holding the intention of them in my mind. And I did like a Huna protocol, little combination, went back to sleep. Next morning, email from her saying, hi, Marilyn, so sorry. Said I had too much to drink last night. I haven't been sleeping well at all since the breakup. It's been several weeks. I haven't had a good night's sleep. She said that something really weird happened. This is the point where you tell me I'm, I'm crazy. But she said around about, you know, half past three this morning, I felt really calm peaceful relaxed I've had the best night's sleep I've had in months and that's when I'm like oh my god and you know the hairs on the back of your neck stand up I'm like you're not gonna believe what happened and then I relay the whole story of waking up at half three in the morning going oh my god I didn't do the hula and weirdly what she described in the way she I wish I'd kept that email what she described in the way she wrote the email was the order and sequence and the exact symbols, because I use about five symbols, she described them all. She, I'm, I'm living here, she's in, in South London somewhere, I was in Watford, she's drunk, has no idea what I'm doing and when, yet she still described the order and sequence of those symbols and she felt what I sent. And that was my first sense of like, I know energy travels, I know it works remotely, and that's crazy. 
and it's been a crazy cool fantastic ride ever since um and that's why i'm just beyond i already beyond know um that whether you're there live or listening to the recording you will have that experience it's just so cool we're also going to work with the huna symbols so that's just what a couple of them look like so when i'm doing the that's basically what I'm doing. You draw the symbols on the breath and you deliver them on the breath. So when we're doing the webinars, I'm basically sat where I am now. So I'm imagining everyone in the group and I'm then doing the symbols and I do that, you know, to the group. And if I'm doing it with a client, then I'm holding the intention in my mind. Of course, if you're on telephone and Skype, I'm looking at them or I'm listening to them. But that's, that's kind of what, what I'm drawing in the air. And then you deliver them on the breath for those who have ever wondered. We're also going to be doing the access consciousness and that oh, one of my favorite modalities. Again, it's right up there. Um, asking questions about what's stopping you, what's blocking you, um, letting go of judgments, letting go of limitations, letting go of things that stop and lock you down energetically, physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Um, and it's about based around the clearing statement. So what I've what the handout that I put into the group was how you can construct your own clearing statements. And I've also given you a few to, to start off with pence calling it the starter sheet. So this is Gary Douglas, the guy with the whiter hair. And this is Dr. Dane here. So I did my training uh, with a wonderful woman called Ricka Zimmerman. And then I did my level two and level three tech training with Gary Douglas and Dr. Dane here. So Gary Douglas is the creator of Access Consciousness. And Dane here is the co-creator. So that's who I did my training with. And we're going to be going through the clearing statement, which sounds crazy. I know. Uh, actually, for those of you who are on the photo reading, Mark was there. Mark, when I, because what I always do when I have a new process or I'm doing a new combination. So I suddenly figured out that Huna and Access Consciousness were a powerhouse. And so I went to my e-newsletter list and I said, I'm looking for a volunteer. If you're willing to volunteer, I'm going to do the breakthrough session at half price because it's new. I want I'm using a new approach. And so if you want to do it, I'm taking one volunteer. And your job is to, number one, of course, receive the, the wonderful breakthrough, but also give me some feedback about it. And so Mark was the person who volunteered. And we were talking about it at the photo reading three weeks ago. And he gig every time I said the clearing statement, he giggled. And like it was an eight hour breakthrough session. <laughs> so he giggled a lot. But then at the end of it, the, the testimonial is actually on my website still. Please feel free to go and read it. Um, he then said, like, oh, man, I, I don't know what but I was just so different by the end and stuff that he'd been putting off and had never done and wanted to do like the outside looking in just sorted. So go and read that testimonial. So that's why I because at first I'm like, oh, I do have a laugh as you people if you've worked with me for you. The, you those of you who've worked with me, you know, we have a right laugh even when we're working on deep stuff. But it was still a little bit disconcerting to say the clearing statement and then have your client just laugh at you. So even with him laughing the whole way through and giggling like Marilyn, I love your angel crazy. Um, it still works. So we're going to use the clearing statement. And the very, very, very first time I put it together. First thing I do is I normally guinea pig my friends. They're all still alive, so we're all good. And then once I've guinea pig my friends, because of course my friends like me, and if they, and they just think everything I do is fabulous. <laughs> so I then that's why I then go to my e-newsletter list to kind of go, okay, oftentimes I'm working with strangers or they've never worked with me before. And that's why I go and get volunteers from there as well. So I can get a more objective view, much as I love my friends and they are very honest, but even so. Um, and this was a, a friend who was having some financial challenges, was being chased by HMRC, uh, the tax office, for those of you who are um, outside of the UK. She owed them 800 pounds. And I said, well, look, I've got this new process that I'm just putting together. Let's, and so we do 15 minutes on the phone and there's me on the phone asking her the access consciousness clearing statement questions and running her through that. And then we finished off with some Huna. End of story. The next day I'm on um, HMS President in Westminster. I distinctly remember because my phone was off. I'm having a meeting with a guy called Suki Wahiwala and Ian Young. And we're talking about a new project we're going to be working on together. So my phone was off. I then go to dinner with Suki across the road and I put my phone on and there's like a ton of missed calls. And I'm like, so we're sitting at the table. I said, I'm really sorry. I wouldn't normally do this, but do you mind if I just make a quick phone call? Somebody's left me like, you know, half a dozen messages. So I, you know, yeah. And she's like, you don't believe this. What? She says, um, got a brown envelope. And I could tell immediately it was from HMRC. And I was like, oh, for God's sake, I've already phoned you. And I've told you I'm going to do my best to get you your money. 
she opens the envelope it's a check from HMRC for £822 from a business that she and her sister had years ago. They didn't even know there was anything due on it. They just, you know, business is finished, let's go. And randomly, out of nowhere, a check for £822. This is a check on the screen so you can see it for yourself. And so she took that £822, put it into her bank account, and paid HMRC the 800 pounds that she owed them. That's how crazy cool it is. You know, she, we did the same for when she was out of contract and, and wanted a job. She was specific about how much she wanted to be paid a day, which was a good, something like 470 pounds more than she was on. And uh, she goes into the office the next day, call her into the office, offer a contract, and they say the exact figure. And they said, oh, we can only pay you, I think it was 500, whatever it was. Uh, crazy you know so that's just an example of how these combinations work um oh this is Seamus actually um the photo reading attended from a couple of weeks ago and I was saying about you know what you were saying about it but he said secondly I have to thank you again for the hoona you did for me I don't know what you did exactly but this last two weeks I am feeling very light and clear in my head and really peaceful in myself. I'm very grateful. And that was after pretty much, I don't know, maximum, probably two or three minutes, maximum five. It's probably more like two or three where I'm just going around the photo reading room on the first night and doing some Huna belief change work and an access consciousness group process to help them integrate the photo reading more deeply. So we're going to be doing exactly the same on this program as well. So thank you, Seamus, for that. So he is a very unique story. He's an electrician. He's now transitioning into being an NLP coach. And I can't wait to hear what he comes out because, you know, he shared with me just some of his thoughts and philosophies. And it is just um, it is just fantastic. So look out for Seamus, Seamus Wall. She's going to be doing some amazing things, I think. Uh, we're going to be doing the, the money oracle card readings, the tarot readings. So we're going to choose the deck based on, you know, what the group want to work on. We're going to do the dowsing. We're going to do the kinesiology. We'll do that as a group process to help us get clarity. We're going to do the future life progression. So this is myself and the lovely Anne Jersh who created future life progression. She's had some really fantastic things, as have I, happen with future life progression so things like working with stock traders where they predict the market go out into the future and then they then see how the future unfolds and they map those things together and they're identical she's also helped celebrities with their future projects she helped paul mckenna come up with the titles of his best-selling books and if you ever get the chance let her tell you the story about she how she and two of her army friends saw 9 11 a week before it happened they did a group future life progression session and collectively saw the same thing even though they're working they're in the same room being guided but all in their own space doing things individually so jaw dropping stuff and I've had some incredible things happen for my clients as well in terms of seeing the future you know things like seeing the guy in the blue suit deep blue suit I should say let me correct myself the shiny shoes the pink tie cravat handkerchief his name is Paul he's worked with high net worth individuals uh, two weeks later, being at a networking event, a guy makes a beeline for her wearing a deep blue suit, shiny shoes, pink tie, um, cravat, etc. His name is Paul. She went back and looked at his website. He works with high net worth individuals. So really specific. Um, and she was on the transformation program as well, as was Lisa, who saw the White House because, you know, thinking she wanted to move. Her future self saw White House, White Stone House, on a hill with two doors, one through which the public can enter. Some of you might know Lisa Turner from Psych Academy. And uh, the following year, she moved into a white stone house on a hill with two doors, one through which the public can enter. Her basically word for word, what her future self said. So these were again, people who were on the transformation program. And I think the reason the visions were so profound is with all of the clearing and the aligning that we've done before we got to that point. So your future self, is just really clear and there are there are less barriers and less blockages to it and i just you know and it feels like that last bullet point it feels like premonition power because when things happen so specifically it's mind-blowing so we're going to be doing all of that oh this is the one with um the guy called paul um the no nonsense project uh, the one with the, the desk accessories where her future self in terms of how can you elevate your position uh this was for actually this was 
Claudette and her future self kept going on about desk accessories and describing these desk accessories. None of our, you know, we don't, I don't say to clients, don't try and make sense of everything. A few months later, we're at a feng shui workshop. She says to the feng shui teacher, I work um, for a local authority. We all have an open plan office. What can I do to elevate my position? The teacher then starts going on about desk accessories and she's kind of nodding and writing stuff down. I went, Claudette, did you hear what she said? And she went, what? And I said, desk accessories. And then we both went, oh, oh my God. And suddenly everything that the future self had been talking about in terms of describing these desk accessories, because I said to her, I remember now, she, I, I, we opened the door for the future self. I said, what can you see? And where is your future self? She said, I can hear my future self. And I said, what is your future self showing you? She said, I can see this big desk and I can see these desk accessories. And then she starts describing the desk accessories. And I'm like, OK, all right, if that's what you want to see, you know, I'm joking, but, you know, whatever people want to see. But it just didn't make sense at the time until we we're on the Feng Shui workshop. So, you know, and one of my clients got a really fantastic outline for a new book, even though she was adamant she didn't want to write a book. So, you know, all sorts of stuff. We're also going to do the timeline induction where we're putting things out into your future timeline. Same process that I used all those years ago. I was still studying to be a chartered accountant, but I put a goal in my future timeline that I'd be doing NLP, hypnosis, timeline therapy. I'll be coaching and training, uh, working for myself and living and breathing this stuff. That's the goal I put in my future timeline. That was in early December 2000. December 2000, the NLP company that I trained with offered me a job doing coaching, training and therapy. They said it'd be easier if I was self-employed and worked for myself. I was running the room. I was the first person in the training room, the last person to leave. And we sometimes did 29 days straight with like a half a day off here and there. And uh, if that's not living and breathing this stuff, I don't know what is. So we're going to take you through that same process. We're going to do the people's choice. So once we get a sense of where everyone's at, as we get to the end of the program, I'm going to be saying, what else do you need? What's the next step? Anything else we need to work on? So you guys are going to tell me what that is. And then we get into lights, camera, action, where we start strategizing and creating your new, your new future. Whether that is, you know, energetically charging things up. Oh, this is one we did. Actually, this was the very first Mind, Body, Spirit, Energy Fest workshop, workshop that we ran in the, the first weekend of December. That was, that's the one where Amana, oh my God, yeah. The reason I said, just be careful of your precious silver rings. So there's myself and Gina Bat. I always bring Gina in my clairvoyant and psychic. She joins me and we, you know, we run the workshop together now. And um, so Gina's working with her guide. She's a clairvoyant. I'm doing the Huna energy over all of the objects on the table. She, well, she doesn't mention it quite so much, but for the first, I would say six or seven years, she never let me forget it. Amano had this beautiful onyx ring, really thick. This one is sterling silver. So it's that sort of thickness. This is a really thick ring. It was that sort of thickness. Amana put that ring on the table. So I'm charging everything up and doing the huna. Amana picked her ring up. And rather than it being a circle, the ring had skewed over to one side. So she couldn't put it back on. She was not happy with me because that was her favorite ring. So I think she's forgiven me now, but that's why I put the precaution. Anything that's like, don't put, even if it's really strong silver. So we're going to be charging up your future energetically, taking you through a, a process that puts you into a, a state of more joy, more expansiveness, more creativity. You're more in touch with your intuition. You're more trusting. You're more light, um, showing you how to anchor yourself into that energy. And then from that space, that's the space we want to really start creating from. So that comes at the end. And then I'm always saying, just notice the ripple effect. So this one is from somebody who attended the Mind, Body, Spirit, Energy Fest. Um, and actually, when I ran it for the second year, the first one was on a whim. You know, I just came up with the idea one morning for, oh, well, I've got three weeks. Let's see if I can sort this out. And then, you know, got 27 or so people in the room. Don't know how I was, I was like, whoa, you know, because that's not a long lead time for running an event. And the second year I ran it, I said, because a lot of people have returned for the second year. I said, why are you here? And the first person I spoke to said, everything I worked on last year came true. I'm back for more of the same. I'm like, oh, it's very cool. So to the next person, why are you here? He said, I was here last year for the very first one. Everything I worked on last year came true. I'm back for more of the same. 
the first five people that spoke were all there the previous year. They said exactly the same thing. So this person is saying, I got and achieved everything that I worked on last year. So I'm back for more of the same this year. Someone else said it's so much value and so much fun. I look forward to this day for the whole year. And so we're going to be, you know, taking some of the components of that and the, um, and, and kind of putting it into this. Now, the Mind, Body, Spirit, Energy Fest is an in-person two-day workshop that's always at the first weekend of December. Um, and we're going to be just kind of using some elements of that. And then I'm saying with the ripple effect, notice what you notice, because those changes continue to ripple throughout your entire life. And the the longest someone's ever come back to me with feedback, I'd done a break, one day breakthrough with, session with him 10 years prior. And he sent me an email, he was saying, Oh, my colleague is looking for an executive coach, I've recommended you. And also, Marion, I've been meaning to email you and say thank you, because the effects of our breakthrough session are still rippling throughout my entire life. Those were the words that he used. And when I checked, he'd done the breakthrough session 10 years prior. So it really, really does. And, and this was a lovely client who'd done uh, the money breakthrough program, the 28 day program and the one day intensive one to one. The first thing that happened was for the first time in four years, she went from zero and overdrawn to um, positive balances, which is major if you're always overdrawn. And uh, another who over a period of time, she sent me this message a few weeks ago saying, Marilyn, kudos to you here. Uh, we grew like her company grew by 300 percent since last year. That's a lot. Um, and so it doesn't always happen straight away. This one, I think, took about two years. The first year was that whole thing of bigger opportunities, more things coming in, but it's absolutely fantastic. So I often say to people, be patient as well, because sometimes you won't notice the changes and the improvements and the transformation straight away. It's when you look back, so this is the lovely Anne Coppins, the founder of Gamification Nation. Um, but when she looked back and went, oh my God, it's been 300% since she did the money break, 28 day money breakthrough e-coaching program and the, um, the, the one day breakthrough session. So same with this program, be patient, but be alert and notice what you notice as the changes come. Oh, this is Amana actually, when she did the Mind, Body, Spirit, Energy Fest workshop, she never worked in Saudi or Dubai, didn't even have the right qualifications. All of that is explained in the video in terms of the synchronicity that happened. And this is her out in Saudi Arabia in the outfits on the sand dunes with all of the, um, the, the gear on and it was just miraculous and she couldn't come back to the mind body spirit energy fest the second year having said she wanted to go out and live and work in saudi and dubai because guess what she was out working in saudi and dubai so these are the pictures that she sent to the group so they could see that what she had spoken about the year before had come true and this is the lovely um keith higgs who was also at that very first workshop there's a point where he he wanted in a certain amount of money he was going to an event and the top prize was ten thousand pounds it was a raffle and we we were doing and actually this was probably it was the mind body spirit energy fest program we i created a three-month program so it's almost like the living breathing version of what is now this and um he said so he set an intention that he would win the ten thousand pounds and uh, they do the opening raffle. There's a prize for 500,000. Keith won the thousand. And he was like, OK, Universe, that's really cool. Thank you very much. And Marilyn and I worked on 10 grand <laughs> at the end of the night. They leave it for the finale. No prizes for guessing who won the 10,000. That's Keith there with the check. He also said, because he'd been single for as long as I'd known him at that point, he said he really wanted to have an experience of true love. He came back to the workshop the second year as my guest with his girlfriend and to just share the the story of of how much the the workshop itself and the um the trans the mind body spirit energy fest transformation program had changed his life so we've had some really cool stuff happening so i guess the question now number one thank you if you've made it this far you're still with me i really appreciate it um the question is what do you want to what do you want to sound time on you know if you had your clipperboard where it's like cut what is it time to do for you? What's the thing that you go enough of that? Whether it's the end of a chapter, the end of an act, the end of a scene, the end of a phase. What is it? What are, what's the change? What's the transformation you want? Really start thinking about that. Um, do this one as a little starter exercise. It's not in the portal. But, you know, I'm actually I might add it because I've, I've designed an exercise around this for the Mind, Body, Spirit, Energy Fest. So I'll probably add it to the client portal.
But you just kind of think about, okay, what's the next act for you? What's the next scene for you? And there's a process that I've taken people through on the Mind, Body, Spirit, Energy Fest workshop where they make a declaration. So actually, note to self, I'm going to add this into the, the transformation programs. So I think it'll be really fun. And just think about what are the new things you want to put into the frame as we work through this program together. Is it new thoughts? Is it new beliefs? Are you looking for fresh ideas? Do you want a different way of being? Or do you want to step into a new role? So really start thinking about that as well. Let me have your thoughts. Let me have your feedback. What I'll do is I'll probably I'll create um, a form in the client portal and I'll be asking you this question. So feedback and let me know because I'll use that to shape what we do as well. So do you have any final questions? queries observations about anything we have touched on during this webinar let me go to facebook i'm gonna refresh um let me just reply to that one there you go uh right let me refresh that i'll read any questions from there i've seen a couple of questions in the q a so i'll come to those as well Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do my usual apologies so that it doesn't always show me the questions until after the fact, and then I feel bad that I didn't answer them. All right, so I think we're good there. But if we're not, we, you know, I will come. I'll, I'll type the answer to you. Oh, ah, cool. Hey, Chris. I won't say your surname because you might not want to be on camera. Uh, huh. Right. So let me go. Let me go to my webinar platform. Uh, Oh, okay. All right, just okay. All right, All cool. So we, um, all right, cool. Right, okay. Hocus pocus, focus, Marilyn. Let's go back. Let me click into my Q and A. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, okay, it's not a mistake. Oh, sorry, you can't see what I've read. So somebody said, I um, um I, I thought the program was 797, it's a completely different price. Yeah, let me explain. If you've looked at the Eventbrite page, it was 797 when I launched it in the summer. Because what I often do, if you guys are on my e-newsletter list, you will know that when I'm launching a new program, what I tend to do is um I often do a flash offer for those on my e-newsletter list but thereafter I do normally do a pre-launch price where I say right I'm thinking of this idea I'm still you know uploading the pages creating the website etc but here's the pre-launch offer so that's what the 797 was that you are mentioning here I then do a launch price and with the launch price for this one that ran for a good two months at least and then we're at the price we're at now and I'm going to run the program at mainly at that price. And then once I see you know, the way it kind of goes now, I go, oh, this is a lot of value for that little price. And then over there, I'll, I'll make some price adjustments. So, yes, you are correct. At one point, you would have seen it for 797. But that was the pre-launch price. So if you missed the pre-launch, if you missed the launch. And the reason I do that is, number one, there are people like me who like a good old bargain. And there are also sometimes people for whom the price might be prohibitive when it gets to its full price. And so the pre-launch and the launch is to give people an opportunity to jump on board at an incredible price so that was I have to say that was then this is now but for those of you who are in the webinar the price that's up there now it, there's 20% off that so the price at the moment is 1997 and there's 20% off so I put that link into the webinar room so uh, that is that's that that's why you kind of maybe received a different price but that would have been months ago I think I would have been back in June with the 797 pre-launch so that doesn't exist anymore sorry and that's what I say if you're if you're if you do want to work together in some way shape or form and it, it might be something different that you want to do um, join the e-newsletter list it's um, go to my main website, www.transformations. Actually, it's coming up on the screen in a bit. Transformationstm.com. 
somewhere on that left-hand column, there is a link where you can sign up to my e-newsletter. And that's where I launch the offers. That's where I do the, the flash offer, pre-launch, launch, launch etc. So because Facebook is a bit flaky in terms of what you can see, uh, but that's where you'll find that information. Uh, somebody else is saying, when does the program start? It is, it, well, it started in terms of we done we're doing working on phase one now in terms of just making sure I've done got through everyone's soul plan. So I've got one more to do next week. And then once I've got everyone's soul plan, because what I want to do is then start designing the program based on what's come up in the soul plans. So once I've done all that, that's when we're going to start the webinar. So we're going to we're going to we'll probably get a few in before the end of this year. But we really ramp it up and pick up a pace in the new year if we're watching this in real time, which I think is perfect because New Year's resolutions, goals, all the rest of it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, that's kind of cool. I'll answer that in a minute, um, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know who you are, who are just saying the most. Um, but in terms of just the, a wonderful way to start the new year, so that's what we're uh, we're going to be really ramping it up. But we haven't started with the first of the live webinars yet. So if you do want to be with us live, and the advantage of being there live is you can ask questions and put your specific things into the mix so we haven't started that yet that's probably going to be uh, the next kind of two weeks or thereabouts so that is that let me go to messenger for that other one da, da, da. give me one second <sighs> okay Okay, good question. Um, I actually think it's on the Eventbrite page as well. It's it, no, it definitely is on the Eventbrite page. You might just have to scroll down a bit. Uh, so, sorry, somebody was asking, um, can they pay in installments? Do you have to do it all in one go? There's a deposit that you can pay, which is £500, and then we can work out a payment plan. And you can um, have up to six months to, to do the payment because that's how long the program might be running for, um, depending on how the group want to pace it. And th there's definitely an option on the Eventbrite page. And there's definitely an option in the link that I've put into the webinar as well with the 20 percent off. So if what you wanted to do, you could pay the 500 pounds deposit. It will be the 20 percent off price. And then you can just you know split that how you want to split it. And what people have done previously with the payment plans, I've just said pay your deposit to make sure we're covered for your first few sessions and then you can decide what you want to do each month so there'll be times where somebody goes oh well, can I pay 100 this month yeah sure another month they might go oh I'll pay 300 this month yeah sure so you know I'm not going to be saying the payment plan you have to do this you have to do that but we'll just be keeping tabs to make sure by the time we've come to the end that you've paid for the program so yes you can do um, a payment plan sorry that's q and A's flashing again <laughs> um yeah okay so is they're saying can i say more about the split between one-to-one -one and the um group the one-to-one -one is for the soul plan reading and it's because you know that's personal to you it's about your birth name the other sessions will be group sessions however the way it's set up it's a bit like it is now people can actually you know i can see the attendee list other people can't because you know this private stuff that we're working on i always then give people the chat if the, the opportunity if they want to to be in the open chat or in the q a and with this one because it's kind of what people might call big life stuff i would say you know if you, there's stuff you don't want to share in public use the q a because nobody else gets to see that except me so in that respect it is private you are never going to know what someone else is working on you might never even know who else is on the program unless they go into the chat now on the uh, raising your money vibration everyone was in the chat and, and chatting away and all the rest of it so they all know each other this one might be slightly different because it's a lot more personal than that so yes you have the option but the first session is the one-to-one -one where we do your soul plan reading and then it's the group sessions cool right i think i've answered all the questions but if there's anything else speak now or forever hold your peace as it were um this is a reminder for those who are coming in later this is how you can join the program you can sign up via eventbrite it's transformationprogram.eventbrite.com next thing to do is log into the client portal fill out your soul plan birth name so we can organize and get a date in the diary to do your one-to-one -one reading and don't leave that too late because i'd really like to incorporate all of your stuff from your soul plan um so let's let's be having you yeah? <laughs> so that we can get started with the live sessions 
Um, so book your soul plan Skype reading. I'll send you my electronic calendar booking page. You can do it via that. Complete the breakthrough session questionnaire, which is in the client portal. And then, you know, join the live webinars where you're free for those dates. And if it has to be the replay, then that's cool as well. I've already explained if you missed it. Um, explain the impact that you get from still listening to the recordings. So I said I wanted to do this one in two hours. It's uh, one hour and 58 minutes. So just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me. A double treble thank you for everyone who has signed up for the program. I'm really, really looking forward to it. And definitely keep in touch. Um, in terms of my email, it's Marilyn, M-A-R-I-L-Y-N at transformationtm.com. So T-R-A-N-C-E-F-O-R-M-A-T-I-O-N-S, TM as in tra uh, trademark. So Marilyn at transformationstm.com. Website is www.transformationstm.com. On social media, in terms of Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, it's forward slash Marilyn Devonish. And Devonish is D-E-V for Victor, O. N I S H and on Instagram it's the neuro success coach. I just went like that and I could feel my um I was doing something for the uh the Watford Chaplain's office, the Watford Chamber of Commerce. We're at the um uh Watford Museum today. I don't know if you can see that. It says um Arx the neuro success coach. But I put it on my arm because it wouldn't stick to my top. Um, but yeah, so on Instagram, I'm the neuro success coach. So yeah, you know, follow, keep in touch. If you know someone who might benefit from this program, please feel free to share this link, send them the video, send them the link to the program. That would be absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, if you have any final questions over and above what we've talked about here, then please feel free to email me. You can put them in the thread as well if you don't mind people seeing your question or send them to me via messenger and I will answer those um, forthwith. So thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Look forward to working with you all. And uh, here we go. It's going to be amazing. So catch you all later. Bye bye.